Okay, so at the end of the last episode, we had a basic map and a camera. At the moment though, uh, the camera doesn't center anymore because we changed the, the, the size of the view, uh, the ratio between the viewport, the camera and the viewport. So I have come up with, with a calculation. So regardless of the size of the map, uh, we're always gonna start in the center just because I like to do that kind of thing. So in the create event of OBJ map editor, I also added uh, V cells and H cells, um, set it to 10 and updated our floor grid equals DS grid create line with H cells and V cells. And at the very bottom in our camera region, uh, I have updated CX and CY. So CX is now minus the width of the camera view divided by two plus half the width of a tile. And CY is half the height of the camera view plus half the height of all of the cells times the tile height. That gives us our central X and central Y. Um, I also noticed or figured out, I have not told you the origin point for the sprites yet, which I should have really done on the first episode. So uh, the origin point for farm deco, farm floor, farm west wall, farm north wall is, is gonna be zero and 33. So when you look at your tile, the central point should always be on the middle left. That's where all the tiles are gonna be drawn from. And SBR cursor is zero 032. Although if you set it at 33, I don't think it will make much of a difference. It doesn't matter what you have the origin as for T grass, although I have it at 07, because uh, we, I don't think we're ever going to be drawing this uh, just by itself. We're always going to be using the uh, farm deco, farm floor, those kind of the, the tile sets. Okay, so um, let's run the game. And you can see we have uh, a nice centered map. If we update H cells and V cells to five, and we run the game again, you can see it's still centered. Okay, so change uh, H cells, V, v cells back to 10, if you changed it. And we're going to add two new variables, these ones here, because we're now going to code it so we can change the tiles on the map. Uh, we have tile to place, which is going to be an image index. So for example, if we are drawing the floor and the image index we want is two, zero, one, two, we're going to be drawing dirt. And then tile part to place. We're not going to change it just, just yet, but we're going to set it for future as e tile parts dot ground. So we're going to be changing the floor for now. Okay, so if we now go into the step event, we have a, a brand new region called change tile to place. And we need to know how many images each sprite has that we're trying to use. Uh, the sprite we're trying to use, we're going to grab it from global.biomes, tile part to place current biome. Let me just update this actually, make it a bit easy to read. There we go, so SBR stands for Sprite. We're gonna get it from this 2D array that we set up. The tile part to place is gonna equal ground and current biome is the farm outside. Images in Sprite is gonna tell us how many images that particular Sprite has. Just increase it, or decrease a little bit. And then if we press right, we're just checking to see if if we, if we increase tile to place by one, is it going to take us past the value of images in Sprite? If not, then just increase it. Otherwise, set tile to place to zero. We're also going to have a show debug message just to show you that it's working. And for pressing left, as long as tile to place takeaway one is greater than or equal to zero, then we can take one away from tile to place. Otherwise, tile to place is gonna equal images in Sprite minus one. So if there's 10 images, then this is gonna equal nine. 
because we start from zero. And again, we're going to have another show debug message just to show us uh, what the value equals to make sure it's working properly. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, let's just run the game. We're not actually going to change the map, but if we, if you have this output tab open and you press left or right. Oh, sorry. Try that again. There we go. So I'm pressing right. It's gone up to seven. One more time and it goes to zero. Still pressing right and it goes to three. Now I'm pressing left and it goes to seven. So it's working fine. I'm going to minimize this region now. And if we go to the draw event, uh, sorry, draw GUI event, this is going to, going to be a new event. We're just going to do ourselves a favor and we're going to draw, we're going to display what tile we're using so we can see it in the, in the bottom middle of the screen. So again, SBR is going to give us the sprite that we're trying to draw. Uh, scale, because it's going to be small if we don't increase the scale. Uh, get uh, the middle of the dis display for the GUI layer and minus the, the scale for half the tile width divided by two, sorry, half the tile width. Uh, and then DY is going to give us the, the bottom of the screen, take away the height of the sprite. And then we're just going to draw our sprite here like that. All we're doing, we're just drawing a tile uh, to scale. So let's run the game again. And now we'll have a visual indication. You can see on the bottom middle, if I press right, it's going to change the tile. If I press left, it goes the other way like that. And that, that just lets us know uh, what tile we're using. Okay, so now we're going to just put some code so we can actually change the tile. And we're actually going to have the option to change the whole map at the same time, just to one tile, just to make it easier, because there's going to be times you want to do that. So we have this new region, uh, change current tile to tile to place. And if we just get this structure down, first of all, so if we are holding down check button and be left, if we're not pressing shift, then we're just going to set the cell of floor grid that the cursor is over to tile to place. So if tile to place equals two, this cell is going to get set to two. Otherwise, if we are holding shift, we're going to make all tiles equal the current tile. So we're going to use a double for loop, the same as the one where we draw it. And all we're doing is setting every cell inside floor, floor grid X, X, Y, Y to tile to place. We could actually just do uh, DS grid clear uh, floor grid uh, and then tile to place. But um, we're going to be changing this soon and we can't just use DS grid clear because we're going to be using lists inside the cells so we can hold more data. So this would work, but we're just going to use this so we can use it later on as well. Uh, and if we run the game, we can now paint the map a little bit. So let's change it to dirt. You can do this. Have a hold down shift and click. It changes the whole thing. Do the same for grass, uh, for wheat. And if I go back to uh, dirt and paint this like that. You should, have, you should have the same effect as me. Okay, so I'm going to minimize these regions now. And the last thing we're going to do today is to make it a bit more vi visual to you what's happening. Uh, we're going to add something in the draw event. We're going to have this uh, debug region, region to show numbers. Uh, we're going to draw, be drawing text over every tile and it's just going to give us the string of whatever IND equals and IND is the value for that cell in floor grid. So once you've got this down, let's run the game. And you can see every tile is a one because grass is one, change to dirt, changes to two, shift click, they're all two, wheat, 
they're all four, although you can't really see it because uh, the wheat is drawing over some of the fours. And so on and so on. So all we're doing basically is storing a number. And, and that's what we will be doing in the game a lot of. So as long as you understand we're just storing numbers for different things. Like it's going to be like this, but a little bit more complex because we're going to have a list in every cell because we, we want to know more than just the floor. We want to know, does it have a wall? Is there an actor there? You know, stuff like that. And we're going to have multiple levels as well. So we're going to have lots of different floor grids holding that information. So just, just remember, it, it's just as simple as storing numbers. And that's, that's how we know. That's how the game knows what to draw for us. Uh, so thank you for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye for now.